Come on, show me some love. How's everybody doing? Today is Friday. Friday the 16th. <laughs> this weekend is Father's Day weekend. And also Juneteenth. Remember, Juneteenth is a holiday. It's a federal holiday. So please do not work that day. We earned that day. Our ancestors earned that day. Please, please do not work on Monday. Because Juneteenth is Sunday. But anyway, um, so I'm still here at my daughter's house. Um, her and the baby are sleeping so comfortably. I didn't clean her house and you know, got it straight and all that. You know, I just got to do the bathroom. You may hear her in there snoring. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm sitting here and I was eating some. McDonald's hotcakes. I love their hotcakes and sausages. So I was just sitting there eating that. Um, she do have, the baby do have its first appointment today. Again, my grandson, who was breech, came into the world on June 12th. And he is healthy and doing well and so beautiful. Due to respect, I will not be posting him. Um, you know, my daughter's not big on social media, and I totally respect that. But he is beautiful. Um, so he has his first appointment because he was brief. He was brief, so he has his first appointment today. So I'm going to take him to the appointment, and I know all is good. You know, he had a circumcision, so they're going to check that. Because he was brief, they're going to check his limbs just to make sure everything is fine, which I know that's good. Um, he's being breastfed, so... All is good with that. I mean, all the things that we feel that a newborn should be doing, I think he's up to that capacity. Not that I ever had any doubt he wasn't going to be. But you can see I'm awfully proud. I'm a proud grandmother. You would think it was my first grandchild. This is my third. So I'm happy. And so, yeah, I'm here just taking care of my daughter, watching over her as she recover, um, taking care of my grandkids. Today is their last day of school, so that's good. And I'm um, just living life right now, living life. So when she's all good, I said, then I can sit down and start making my plans on my travel. I do want to go away because, like I said, I just lost my mother in January, and I really haven't been able to have a moment to myself after my daughter announced her. Her pregnancy, although she was already pregnant before my mother passed away, but I really want to get somewhere in a place where I can really, you know, not so much mourn my loss, but just come to terms that, you know, my parents are no longer here. I don't know how I'm going to feel about Father's Day. I always have a hard time with Father's Day because I was definitely a daddy's girl. And although my father been gone over 10 years, it still hurt. It still hurt. You know, I, I'm just so used to you know, his presence and hearing him. He was such a wonderful dad. I had a wonderful childhood. My mother was great too, but I was like I said, I was definitely a daddy girl, so I miss my father so much. And um, so Father's Day really do hit home. And my sisters, they're so wonderful because they are having um, a get together. So we are going to be together for Father's Day and, um, you know, just talk about our parents and enjoy it with our grandchildren and our children. So, again, just giving you an update on what's going on with me and my family. I hope yours is doing well. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you have a wonderful, long weekend. Stay home on Monday. June T is a legal federal holiday. Stay home on Monday because June T is Sunday the 19th. <laughs> I can't express it anymore. All right. Have a good weekend. I love you. Happy Father's Day to any fathers out there. Uh, mothers who have to... Be fathers and fathers who have to be mothers. Hey, do what you got to do for the kids because we all love the kids. We love the kids. Mwah.